With news from the showrooms and design studios of the automotive world, this is Fastlane Daily. I'm Derek D with your automotive brief. You say you can't get enough exclusive supercars? Then check out the Gumpert Apollo. It's the creation of two former Audi employees. The Apollo is a mid-engine two-seater that's about as close to a street legal race car as you can get. It's powered by a twin-turbo Audi V8 producing 800 horsepower. And because it only weighs around 2,500 pounds, the Apollo can get from 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. But that's not all. Gumpert's launching the Apollo Sport. It's got the same engine setup as the base model, but also gets a few aerodynamic tweaks, like this ginormous wing. That means it can reach a higher top speed of 223 miles per hour. And in case you wanted to use the Apollo Sport as your daily driver, it also comes with a CD player, navigation system, and a backup camera. Look for the Apollo Sport to debut at the Geneva Auto Show next week. You say you're more about old world style than modern hardware? Then look no further. It's the Antas V8 from the team of Ferrelli and Mazzanti. That's not some New Jersey law firm. It's a team of classic car restorers in Italy who go by the name F&M. The Antos V8 is a hand-built GT inspired by the Bugatti 57 from the 1930s and the Maserati Coupes from the 1950s. It's powered by a Maserati V8 producing 310 horsepower. The Antos project started as a one-off concept car. It was presented at the Top Mark show in Monaco last year. At this year's show, F&M will unveil the production model, which is faithful to the concept car's execution. No word on price yet, but for this kind of exclusivity, expect plenty of zeros on the sticker. If you're a fan of the diesels, keep an eye on Mercedes-Benz. The company is planning to show off the latest Bluetech prototype, the Vision C220, at the Geneva show next week. It's the company's first four-cylinder model to feature its super clean Bluetech diesel technology. That system scrubs the car's emissions to remove carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and those nasty particulates that cause smog. But the Vision isn't like that old rabbit diesel your dad drove in the 80s. It produces 170 horsepower. Your dad was lucky you'd get 50 horsepower from the rabbit. And the Vision 220C satisfies Europe's emission standards through the year 2015. Mercedes has already launched its Bluetech diesels in the US and plans to expand the technology globally. Next up, the internet rumor mill, right after this. Got a story for Fastlane Daily, or even a hot tip, rumor, forum flame war? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastlaneDaily.com. What's the latest from the great electric brain? According to Winding Road, Honda will bring the Civic Type R to the US by early next decade. Those who follow Hondas know the Type R as the company's factory tuners for the European and Japanese markets. In Europe, the Type R is a hot hatchback. In Japan, it's a four-door sports sedan. So which one are we getting? Winding Road says the Japanese Type R will hit these shores in 2010. That word came straight from an engineer with Honda of Japan, who recently spilled the beans during a press event. He says the car will get a horsepower boost and limited slip differential. If the Type R does come to the US, it'll be serious competition for such cars as the Mazda Speed 3 and Subaru WRX. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we'll see if a 1981 Rabbit Diesel can mow your lawn. See you then.